India occupies the central peninsula of Southern Asia. It consists of the mainland and the two group of the islands. The mainland of India lies at the head of the Indian Ocean between 8.4 degrees and 37.6 degrees north latitudes and 68.7 degrees and 97.5 degrees longitude. India entirely lies to the north of the equator. The Tropic of Cancer 23.30 degrees and passes nearly midway across India and divides it into two halves. To follow one timings, India has accepted to 82 degrees 30 longitude as the standard meridian of India, considered as the Indian standard time. Southern parts of India lie within the Tropic of Cancer and are rationally hotter than northern parts. It is the seventh largest country of the world after Russia, Canada, USA, China, Brazil and Australia. Its area is about 3.28 million square kilometers and it is about 2.42% of the total area of the world. India has a land boundary about 15,200 kilometers, and the total length of the coastline of the main land including Andaman, Anand, Nicobar and Lakshadweep is 7,516.6 kilometers. On its north, India is bounded by lofty mountains. These mountains run east-west for thousands of kilometers. These provide a natural wall against all possible intrusions. The Indian landmass has a central location between the East and West Asia. India is a southward extension of the Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes which connect the countries of Europe in the West and the countries of East Asia. Because of its central location, India has the great advantage in establishing trade relations both with West Asia, Africa and Europe on the eastern side. The third largest ocean in the world came to be known as the Indian Ocean because the subcontinent of India stands at the head of this ocean. India was the favorite destination of the traders of the world. The ideas of the Upanishads and the Ramayana, the stories of Panchtantra, the Indian numerals and the decimal system could reach many parts of the world. The spices, muslin and other merchandise were taken from India to different countries. On the other hand, the influence of Greek sculpture and architectural style of dome and minarets from West Asia can be seen in different parts of our country. India occupies an important position in South Asia. India has 28 states and 8 union territories. India shares its land boundaries with Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest, China, Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan in the north and Myanmar and Bangladesh in the east, southern neighbors across the sea are Sri Lanka and Maldives. Maldives Falk Strait separates India from Sri Lanka and Maldives lie in the south of the Lakshadweep Island in the Indian Ocean. India is called a subcontinent because of its vastness and distinct physical and cultural identity. Equator it is an imaginary line which divides the Earth into two equal hemispheres Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. 
prime meridian. It is the main zero degrees meridian which passes through Greenwich near London. It is meridian from which longitudes are measured. Latitude It is the distance of a place from the equator in the northern or the southern direction. Longitude It shows the distance of place from the prime meridian in the eastern or the western direction. Subcontinent a big geographical unit which stands out distinctly from the rest of the continent. Tropic of Cancer An imaginary line which runs parallel to the equator in the northern hemisphere of 2312 degrees in latitude. Standard Meridian the meridian of 80 to degrees 30 e whose local time serves as the standard of India time for the whole country. Local time Time of a place determined by the midday sun. Standard time The local time taken as the time for the whole country. Indian Union Federation of India comprised of 28 states and 8 union territories. Indian Mainland The stretch of continuous landmass extending from Jammu and Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh. Peninsula a land mass bounded by the sea on three sides. Lakshadweep Islands lie in the Arabian Sea. Russia, Canada, the USA, China, Brazil and Australia are larger than India. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie to the southeast of India, in the Bay of Bengal. The island countries that are our southern neighbours are Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Maldives Islands are situated to the south of the Lakshadweep Islands. Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow channel of sea formed by the Pork Strait and the Gulf of Mannar. The longitudinal extent of India is from 68 degrees 7 east to 97 degrees 25 east. So, there is a difference of around 30 degrees. The sun takes 4 minutes to cross 1 degree longitude. Therefore the time taken to cross 30 degrees longitude is 4 times 30 equals 120 min 2 hours. But 80 to degrees 301 longitude has been taken as the standard meridian of India. All watches of India follow this time and so all watches show the same time. The Indian landmass has a central location between East and West Asia. India is a southward extension of the Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes which connect the countries of Europe in the West to the countries of East Asia provide a strategic central location to India. The Deccan Peninsula protrudes into the Indian Ocean thus helping India to establish close contact with West Asia, Africa and Europe from the western coast and Southeast and East Asia from the eastern coast. No other country has a long coastline on the Indian Ocean as India has. India lies completely on the north of the equator. So it is situated in the northern hemisphere. 
the Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of India. While its southern part, that is the peninsula India, falls in the tropical zone, the northern half lies in the subtropical zone or warm temperate zone. India is also situated to the east of the prime meridian. It lies not only in the Eastern Hemisphere, but also has central position in it. India occupies the South Central Peninsula of the world's largest and the most popular continent, Asia. It also lies at the head of the Indian Ocean. It has the longest coastline on this ocean. The large land boundaries of India have helped to develop links with her neighboring countries. It contributed in the exchange of ideas and commodities since ancient times. The ideas of the Upanishads, the Ramayana, the Gita, etc. have become known to the world. The Indian numerals as well as the decimal system long back crossed the border. The Arabs took these ideas to the West. The spices, muslin and other merchandise were taken away from India to different countries through these land routes. On the other hand, the influence of Greek sculpture and the architectural styles of dome and minarets from West Asia can be seen in different parts of our country. Location India is a vast country. Lying entirely in the Northern Hemisphere, the mainland extends between latitudes 8 degrees 41 N and 37 degrees 61 N and longitudes 68 degrees 71 E and 97 degrees to 51 E. The Tropic of Cancer, 23 degree 301 N, divides the country into almost two equal parts. To the southeast of India's mainland lie the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal and to the southwest lie the Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea. Size The land mass of India has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer. India's total area accounts for about 2.4% of the total geographical area of the world. India is the seventh largest country of the world. India has a land boundary of about 15,200 kilometers and the total length of the coastline of the mainland, including Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep, is 7,516.6 kilometers. It has an east-west extent of 2,933 kilometers from Arunachal Pradesh to Kutch in Gujarat and a north-south extent of 3,214 kilometers from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. The southern part of the country is in the form of a peninsula, tapering towards the Indian Ocean in the south. It is bounded by the Arabian Sea in the southwest and the Bay of Bengal in the southeast. Union territories along the western coast, Lakshadweep, Diu and Daman, Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Mahe, belonging to Puducherry. Union territories along the eastern coast, Puducherry, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Area-wise largest state is Rajasthan, 3,42,239 square. Kilometer and smallest state is Goa, 3,702 square kilometer. States which do not have international border lie on the coast: 1. Haryana, 2. Jharkhand, 3. Madhya Pradesh, and 4. Chhattisgarh. States having common frontiers with Pakistan: Gujarat, Rajasthan. Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir. 
states having common frontiers with China, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, and Jammu and Kashmir. States having common frontiers with Myanmar, Manipur, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, and Mizoram. States having common frontiers with Bangladesh, West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura.